HM has onboard speaker processing. Each zone can have up to four bands of speaker processing in its signal chain. Each band has a crossover, EQ, delay and limiting. AHM is designed with configurable outputs. When we use a speaker processor on a mono zone, this uses one of the outputs for each way of processing. So, a two-way speaker processor uses two outputs, a three-way three output. Stereo zones use two outputs for each way of speaker processing. Let's look at the configuration and operation of the speaker processor. Select the zone which you wish to apply speaker processing to by going to the Channels page and then the Zones tab. On the right hand side you will see Speaker Processing. Click this to open the Speaker Processing dialog. If you have already used all of the available outputs, you will see a warning message. In this case, you may be able to free up some resources in the Zones configuration. You can now select how many ways or frequency bands you want in your speaker processing by clicking the drop down menu and selecting 2, 3 or 4. Underneath the visualization window, you can now adjust the crossover frequency between each band. This can be done by dragging from side to side or by double clicking and entering a value manually. In the bottom part of the page, you have processing parameters for each band. Low and high slopes that can be Butterworth 12, 18 or 24 dB slopes, Linkwitz Riley 12 and 24 dB slopes, or first order. An equaliser which can be either a 28 band graphic EQ or an 8 band parametric EQ. Delay with a maximum value of 683 milliseconds which can be set in milliseconds, meters, feet and samples and even includes temperature compensation for adjusting delay values based in distance. And finally a limiter with independent brick wall limiting for each band. 